we are given an implicit equation and asked to determine dy dx. To do this, we differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. Notice on both sides of the equation we have a product, and therefore we'll have to apply the product rule when differentiating both sides of the equation with respect to x. On the left, we'll let the first function be x to the fifth, and the second function be the quantity x plus y. Applying the product rule, we have the first function of x to the fifth times the derivative of the second function with respect to x, which is the derivative of the quantity x plus y with respect to x, and then plus the second function of the quantity x plus y times the derivative of the first function with respect to x, which is a derivative of x to the fifth with respect to x. Equals on the right side, we will now treat y to the sixth as the first function and the quantity three x minus y is the second function. So again, applying the product rule, we have the first function of y to the sixth times the derivative of the second function, which is a derivative of the quantity three x minus y with respect to x, and then plus the second function of the quantity three x minus y times the derivative of the first function, which is a derivative of y to the sixth with respect to x. And now remember, when differentiating a y term, we do have to apply the chain rule, and therefore we differentiate with respect to y, and then multiply by dy dx. If we have just an x term, we differentiate like we normally do. So beginning back on the left, we have x to the fifth times the derivative of the quantity x plus y with respect to x. The derivative of x with respect to x is one, and then we have plus the derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx, if we want one times dy dx. And then we have plus the quantity x plus y times the derivative of x to the fifth with respect to x, which is just five x to the fourth. We don't have a factor of dy dx here because we're differentiating only an x term. Equals on the right, we have y to the sixth times the derivative of three x minus y with respect to x. The derivative of three x with respect to x is three minus the derivative of y with respect to x is one times dy dx or just dy dx. And then we have plus the quantity three x minus y, and then times the derivative of y to the sixth with respect to x, which is six y to the fifth times dy dx. Again, we're applying the chain rule, which is why we have an extra factor of dy dx. And now we need to work on solving this equation for dy dx. Let's begin by eliminating the parentheses. Distributing x to the fifth, we have x to the fifth plus x to the fifth dy dx. And then plus distributing five x to the fourth, we have plus five x to the fifth plus five x to the fourth y equals on the right, distributing y to the sixth, we have three y to the sixth minus y to the sixth times dy dx, plus distributing six y to the fifth dy dx, we have 18 x y to the fifth times dy dx, and then minus six y to the sixth times dy dx. And now we want to have all the dy dx terms on the left and all the other terms on the right. Notice right now we have dy dx terms here, 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 and here. So starting on the left, we have x to the fifth dy dx. And now looking at the right, notice here we have negative y to the sixth dy dx minus six y to the sixth dx. Combining like terms, we have negative seven y to the sixth dx, which on the left side would be plus seven y to the sixth dy dx. And then on the right, we still have plus 18 x y to the fifth dy dx, which if we subtract on both sides, on the left we would have minus 18 x y to the fifth dy dx. Now we want all of the non dy dx terms on the right, 
notice on the right right now we have 3 y to the 6th. Now looking on the left, we have two like terms here. We have x to the 5th or 1x to the 5th plus 5x to the 5th, which is 6x to the 5th, which if we subtract on both sides, on the right we would have minus 6x to the 5th. And then we'll also subtract 5x to the 4th y on both sides, which gives us minus 5 x to the fourth y on the right. The next step is to factor out the dy dx on the left. Factoring out dy dx, we have dy dx times the quantity x to the fifth plus seven y to the sixth minus 18 x y to the fifth equals the right side. And the last step is to divide both sides of the equation by x to the fifth plus seven y to the sixth minus 18x y to the fifth. Simplifying on the left, we now have dy dx is equal to the quantity three y to the sixth minus six x to the fifth minus five x to the fourth y all divided by the quantity x to the fifth plus seven y to the sixth minus 18 x y to the fifth. I hope you found this helpful.